Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy, Noonie. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another week. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question, uh, what can you expect in the next 90 days? So it's be like a 90 day protect, pr mm, 90 day predictions. Um, it could go a little bit further out, maybe four months or so, 180 days, but I don't think that far. That's like six months. So I don't think that far, but like 90 days is good. You know what I mean? Give or take a little bit more, a little bit less, but not quite six months. All right. Not quite five months either. I'm hoping to keep it within the four to three month range. Okay. So something that you can kind of keep in your mind and still be able to see the benefits of this reading you know not too far from out you know from when i did it um i think that is all i really wanted to say about this because it wasn't too much uh we got four piles as always take a look at those thanks to those people who be liking sharing subscribing uh commenting getting involved thanks to those people who broke those personal readings thanks to those people who actually donated thank you very much um thanks to those people who <laughs> sent me those gifts from Amazon and uh, I can't remember your name. You sent me the book. Thank you very much. I can't remember your name. Uh, I'll be real sad because once I go back to Instagram, I'll see your name and I'll be like, Dad, I shouted you out and I didn't even remember your name. I'm sorry, but thank you for sending me that book. Uh, I've been reading on it. It takes me a while to read books. I really can't sit too still as often as I usually do. Like I have to really be like, I had to already been like, wanting to do something for me to like really sit down and read because like i get anxious if i start sitting too still for too long you know what i mean i forgot what that's called i think that's adhd but i'm not for sure i don't know sagittarius <laughs> anyway um that's it you know i just want to get started see what this is like i'm kind of curious like what can happen in the next 90 days what can we look forward to um i'm gonna try to give you a like a roundabout about what which you may be experiencing when this is all coming. I guess this is all going to be encompassed. So there's no need to even tell you what you're going to be experiencing. I'm just going to put it all in there. So that's it. Normally I'd be like, oh, well, there's a step that you need to take. Here's the actions you need to take. I just, you know, I don't know. We'll work it. We'll see what happens when I get there. All right. So take a look at these piles. This will be pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, pile five, pile six. And I'm going to get started over here with pile one. Boom, pile one. So, pile one, what can you expect in the next 90 days? What's to come? Oh, okay, that's pretty simple. All right, so you're gonna be going through a healing phase, detoxifying, could be working on your body, could be uh, quitting habits. Um, yeah, you're gonna be releasing tension because we got Scorpio twice. We got it in the Pluto aspect, which is a rebirth, and we have it in the Scorpio self itself, the Pluto moon. So emotionally, and I want to say psychologically, you're going to be um, healing, all right? Releasing some old traumas, some old pent-up frustration, anger. And you got expression here and surrender. So, yeah. So, that's what you're going to be working on in these next 90 days, all right? You're going to go through an energy of uh, like a rebirth, healing, insecurities, deep-seated wounds, a lot of emotional things that maybe held you back or a lot of emotional turmoil that you have been dealing with over years. You're going to be like getting rid of that. You're going to be diving deeper into it, inspecting it, seeing why it is, how it is. It's basically you messing with your emotions and your psyche. Just kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you're going to be coming into peace in that. So you're going to be getting over like past regrets because we got the five of cups and we have the temperance here. Okay. And I also see the empress here, but the empress here is in reverse, but we also have the lovers here. So there may be some type of, uh, and it's right next to opposition. So there may be like some type of choice or decision that needs to be made with uh, lovers. Could be a Gemini, could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be a um, Sagittarius. Um, oh, did I give you the signs that I have? So these are the signs we got. We got Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio again, Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, and Taurus. These are the energies that we got. All right, so you won't be getting free. All right, you may be feeling guarded right about now, but you're gonna be going through that period in time where you're where you're gonna be coming out of that. We got sacral chakra here, so this is about becoming more um, more at home with yourself, feeling more safe, more comfortable within yourself. You know, feeling more sensual, more relaxed vibes. 
um, you know, uh, the Shaco Shaka shows up also as a, as a change, as like a change, what's it called? Initiator to change, as part of an initiation for change. And the Shaco Shaka, when you heal that, it basically allows you to be more receptive, more open, um, more, it's not, it's not, it's not genuine. It's more, um, I mean, for sure, physically alluring, but that's not what I'm thinking about. Uh, it's not coming to me. It's not coming to me. But sacral chakra is also important for drawing your desires. So that's probably going to be something that's important too. So when you're healing your emotional factors and your psychological factors, this is giving you another sense of inner peace, but it also brings like a sense of confidence. All right. So this also allows you to become more receptive and allows you to draw in your desires. So there may be some desires that you're having or some or it could also be increasing your creativity as well. So that could be boosted as well in these next 90 days because it says you are coming out of a caterpillar phase and you're ending a never ending cycle. You're healing that that cycle of being uh, so a never ending cycle can deal with uh, repressive thoughts. It's almost like the eight of swords. You know, what I mean, it's self limiting beliefs, doubts. You know, but it's also keeping yourself in that pattern, keeping yourself going, that woe is me, victim mindset. You're going to be healing that. You're going to be getting out of that. That energy of feeling powerless or feeling uh, defenseless or feeling like you need to guard or protect yourself. You're going to be healing that. So you're going to be allowing or transmuting that because we got a lot of Scorpio energy. You're going to be transmuting that. And with uh, Detox, Full Moon, and, and Taurus, I just feel like you're going to be taking more care of your body or taking more care of practical measures, practical manners. This could be taking care of your house, taking care of your of your physical belongings period you know this could be like material this could be physical you know what i mean so i feel like that and taurus also rules beliefs so you could be healing your old beliefs or transmuting them because we got sharon and sharon is a transmutive sign so you could be healing beliefs and then teaching this to other people because he is a healer who taught other people how to heal themselves so it could be that type of energy you could be like healing your, your beliefs and then teaching other people how to heal their beliefs or heal their vulnerabilities um but you're going to be like working through this tension, working through this emotional, you know, mud that you've been like swimming in for a while. And this is just issues that you've had for a long time because Sharon is here and Pluto is here. And Pluto represents Pluto takes a 13 year. Um, it's 13 years in each sign. So it takes a long time for I think it's like 28 years or 46 years, 40, 13. What is it? No, it's like it's got to be more. It's got to be like 100 and something, I think. 12 times 13. So it's like 146, I think. I think it's like 146 years for it to make the whole uh, a whole revolution around the sun, or do a whole you know move around the zodiac. So this is something that you've done for a while. But with opposition here, this is about you know making a decision, making a choice between what you've once done before and what you want to do now. You know, coming into new information, coming into new sudden emotional realizations. Because that's what uh, opposition represents. It represents uh, emotional, emotional decisions, emotional choices. It usually lands on the opposite end of your spectrum. So if you're like a Leo, then it's going to end on your opposite end, which would be Aquarius. And these are usually your, your axes that you need to balance out to, I want to say, how can I put it to simplify? It, it basically, uh, it doesn't inspire. It encourages your, your sun sign. So if, you're, if your sun sign is um, Capricorn, then, then cancer, being in your cancer energy would encourage your, your, your sun sign to become more strong, more active. Because you need to balance out both sides of your spectrum. It's like your, 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 um, your opposite axes or your sister sign would be like your shadow side that you're not quite acknowledging. So that's all that is, you know what I mean? So if you're a Leo, while you openly get attention, uh, Aquarius would be your shadow side where you're doing things because you genuinely want to and you're just being authentic and you don't care if you get the spotlight or not. That's Aquarius energy. So that's what Leo and Aquarius are like, you know, they're working together. And as Aquarius, Aquarius needs to do things that brings light and fun to other people's lives, which is what a Leo does. So I'm just giving you an example. Not saying sure these signs, but just giving you an example. Um, well, uh, so uh, so this could be like a monthly thing. This could be something that takes you about a month, something like that. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I was really thinking about. I was thinking about your menses, like a menstruation period. So maybe that's something that's that you'll be working through. I don't know what that has to do for y'all, um, but you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be renewing and uh, receiving new information. All right, so here's some of the uh, some of the things that be going on. So it says that you'll be trying to prove sustenance or a spirituality to others. 
Oh, so are you trying to provide sustenance or spirituality to others? So you'd be trying to provide something of value and substance to other people. All right. It says, are you stifled by others wanting to wanting your liberation from them? Are you stifled by others wanting your liberation from them? Okay, so it's basically you wanting to be free from other people. And that's what Pluto over top of that is. Power dynamics, recognizing when other people are taking, adva uh, taking advantage of you or when they're using their resources or using their power. So this is like someone you can very much care about. Like for instance, a mother, a father, a cousin, a brother, a girlfriend, a, a boyfriend, a husband. You know what I mean? Would, it's basically like, you know, they may have, they have a level of control, right? But it's, it's been control that you've given to them. And they may have been overusing or over exacting their power over you in a negative way when they come in using it in a power way. And I mean, in, a, in an empowering way, because Pluto can be a more empowering sign on a positive aspect. On a negative aspect, it can be very destructive, very high, low, very uh, emotionally de like dissolving or emotionally... Uh, how do you say evolving but backwards I forgot that but that's that it could be that way sometimes too it can just be more destructive than empowering all right so it says are you stuck in the same so you're gonna be probably feeling like you're in the stuck okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna be feeling like you're in the same routine but this is because you're healing and you're spending time to like focus on deep-seated pains and and rooted issues and core values and because Pluto is here and that represents core values so you're gonna be looking at these things and and possibly challenging them all right um, there may be a decision in love that need to be that may be needing to be made, or you could be coming into union with someone. But I feel like there's gonna be a decision in love that needs to be made, and it could be from somebody that you got over, and you became like you're becoming more at peace with it. You're becoming more relaxed and like uh, one with yourself again, coming back into union some with yourself again. I feel that way with the with the lovers and with temperance. There, it's that energy of coming into union some with yourself. Um, all of your emotional and psychological factors are feeling in one, and with the five of cups in reverse, that's just getting over. You know, guilt, shame, resentment, you know, uh, embarrass, embarrassment It's getting over that energy, you know, and it's, it's taking yourself off this this high pedestal of, of feeling like, you know, maybe you're over other people. Or it can also be that energy of um, you could still sometimes feel like uh, lacking abundance, like maybe there aren't any other opportunities going on for you yet or you're not able to create anything. So you still may fluctuate between that of uh, feeling like I'm at peace, I'm comfortable with this, but not really... Um, open to other opportunities or no, or the other chances. So this could be just you healing from a relationship. You know, what I mean, you could be like looking back at a relationship and healing on it. You know, and breaking breaking ground on it, and really just working through like the frustration and the pent up anger or resentment, and just processing it and letting it flow out. Um, and from this experience, you may be able to share this with others, teach others, and it may allow you to come down to like a more grounded grounded position where you're a lot more accessible, though you may not feel like it, you may not feel like um, like you're as open or as receptive, that's what's being healed. So you're working on that, your heart is gonna become more open. You know, and like I said, and I really feel like you're just gonna be coming off of this this pedestal of like, oh, don't touch me, or ooh, get away from me. Because of you know a previous relationship, you're gonna be getting out of that. That's, that energy is gonna be falling away. And you're gonna be more harmonious, more easy to get along with, seeing things from a more higher level or seeing the broader picture, seeing the whole playing field as opposed to what you were just looking at before. You know, cause I think a Scorpio is being like a very precise beam, you know, and Taurus only seeing what they wanna see, you know, so it could be that, you know, it could be like, you know, you're only seeing it how you wanna see it right now, but throughout this, these next 90 days, that's gonna transform because you got Pluto here, it's gonna transform and you're gonna to have to make a decision or a choice about how you see things or if you wanna continue a, a pattern. So some of y'all may, may wanna continue a relationship or continue a pattern. Some of you guys may wanna you know, break out and do something new and make a new decision and there may be a decision in love, choices in love. Or some of you may just kind of like come into like union with yourself, become more whole within yourself. Because when you heal these emotional traumas and your psychological traumas, you become more whole within yourself and you become more a sense of Zen, peace, that Sagittarius energy, very optimistic, very outgoing, you know, ready to travel either in your mind, you know, exploring your mind or exploring your body, or you want to explore the world at large, which is Sagittarius energy. So you're going to be probably wanting to do that and coming off of that high horse and wanting to like, you know, mix, mix and mingle, you know, because you've gotten over like a past hurt and a past regret. And that's what this is what this is all going to be in with the next 90 days. You're going to be getting over possibly a past relationship or just past issues. And it's more likely it could be a past relationship. It could just be getting over that feeling of either breaking up or just the energy of, of um, 
you know, disappointment within self from like, you know, maybe not succeeding the way that you thought. You know how sometimes you think you should be further along in life than you than you are. It could be that energy of healing that and, and not feeling so insecure with where you currently are. All right. Um, but it's going to be you're going to be feeling like you're stuck in the same routine. So that's that's what this is all about. It's like you're going to be feeling like things aren't going anywhere. Things aren't moving. You know, they're not really happening for me. But then you're also going to be like at peace with how it is anyway. So it's like, well, I'm still fine. They're not quite how I like it to be. You know, things aren't really coming. Like, I don't see how I'm abundant. I don't see how I'm super attractive. I don't see how, um, you know, I should be coming down to join these people. Or, you know, to me, they may be, you know, you may see them as peasants. Or you might see people as not quite on your level. You know what I mean? Feeling like you're out of place. But it, it just fluctuate, you know what I mean? Because you'll be getting over what happened with the past situation, but then you'll be looking at new stuff and be like, maybe this isn't isn't quite on my level either, you know what I mean? So it might be that type of energy, maybe not, you know. But I just feel like you may have to make a choice, make a decision, and you may have to put your pride to the side. All right, this could be like somewhere where you drink, or there's like a could be like a beach because I see a lighthouse back here, so it could be like a beach or a lighthouse. Um, but there's gonna be a need for like understanding duality all right or understanding both sides of the spectrum all right so i think that sagittarius energy of seeing it from a large perspective seeing the whole picture so that's what's going to be happening in the next 90 days let me give you advice advice says expression express how you feel clearly lovingly and honestly without fear or judgment say it exactly like it is all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concern. Self-expression is liberating and healing. And then we have surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet, for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. All right. So let's go over the signs one more time and we're done. We got Taurus, Scorpio, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Sagittarius. All right. So pile one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney and this Leo in the third house. Boom, pile two. So, pile two, what can you expect in the next 90 days? Okay, it could be tension with a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Pisces or a Virgo or a Scorpio. I mean, or a Virgo or a Libra. It could be walking away. Could be also overcoming some type of obstacle using your will using your might using your power this could be something that felt like a blockage um, it could have to do with work maybe also um, okay so it could be two things could be work could be also a relationship all right I feel like there's gonna be a time for self-reflection we got the guru here so you're gonna be doing some type of self-reflection you're gonna be moving on you know leaving a situation going on to taking another opportunity and there's a new doorway opening up for you you're going to be working through uh, issues of codependency or of not feeling like you're stable enough on your own. Feeling like you may need other assistance or you may need other people to guide you or need other people to be with you. You know, with the two of coins here, yeah, I feel like there's going to be an energy of needing, wanting other people to be here. So normally the two of coins doesn't mean that. It means juggling and surety and money. It can mean like balancing two things, having trouble balancing two things, having uh, trouble making a decision. It could be like that, but it's not because you got the king of swords here. So I don't feel like that's that. The king of swords could actually be cutting away this energy of being lopsided or being um, unable to make a decision. So you may be doing that too. Or you may be communicating about not making enough money because I feel like this could be about work too. And you could be having a communication with a boss or a manager, someone who's in higher authority about not making a lot of money or not feeling super stable. Could also have to do with a house, um, you know, some type of independency, maybe needing a house or maybe needing housing. Um, okay, being invaded. There is no answer.
so you're going to be communicating for sure. You're going to be speaking. So I think you're going to be paying more attention to the way that you communicate with yourself or the way that you communicate with the world at large, like how you speak your life into existence. So that's like if you're talking pessimistic about your life or talking down on your life, you're going to become more aware of that, recognizing that. Okay, so there might also be some type of power struggle. But whatever this situation is that's entailing, this whole entail, the situation is supposed to be a difficult situation for you for the next 90 days. It's supposed to be a square. And the square is about growth. It's about challenges, but it's also about overcoming obstacles. It's like weight training for your life. So whatever you're going through right now is meant, excuse me, is meant to make you grow. It's meant to knock off the, the maybe impure, maybe we can call it the impure aspects of you, but, but I'm not thinking about impure. I'm thinking of more like, you know, the, the parts of your body or the parts of your being that aren't really stable or aren't really important to you they're gonna be like knocked off splintered off you know what I man so this is kind of like sharpening you getting you ready for the next phase of life or the next phase of, of glow up or grow up you know what i mean so you might be glowing up um you could be like in in like maybe taking mushrooms or taking like psychedelics or or taking supplements or uh, experimenting with different drugs you know and this could be like spiritual drugs you know because we got the guru here but it doesn't have to necessarily be that it could just be like you experiment with higher higher um, knowledge or higher, it's different realms. So you're going to be like in different realms, different, maybe you could be in different like environments. Because I say different realms, which could be an environment. So maybe you'll be in different environments. All right. And this could be like a city or it could be like the country or it could be like, um, like a, like a dock, bay, beach, uh, or like. I think of this like I see this this plank this plank bridge. I think of this bridge that was out in this neighborhood. I mean, out in this uh, at this park we used to go to all the time. So it could be like a park. You might be taking strolls through the park, taking nature walks, because I see a lot of cars are being like outside. So you might be getting more outside, getting more active, cleansing, cleaning your body up, uh, expelling or getting rid of like. So you might be getting rid of addictions. You might be getting rid of um, like just negative behaviors, but whatever this is, you're gonna be finding your confidence, all right? Because you're gonna be like struggling to find your independence, to find your stability, to find your, you know, your bachelorette or bachelor bachelor skills style. You know what I mean? Like the ability to be able to stand on your own and be comfortable and confident. You might be feeling a bit selfish or stingy, worrying more about like my 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 what i have what i can get you know what i mean so you might be fluctuating between that energy and you might communicate with uh with either a boss a libra gemini aquarius or a capricorn taurus virgo someone who's an authority you're going to probably communicate with them about money or instability in money or uh, maybe even releasing this energy of needing to juggle two things at once so this is what i was kind of feeling like so i don't like to always say this but I'm going to say this. You might be leaving a job, all right, because you may not have been getting paid enough. You're not, you might not be, it might not be stable enough. It might not be providing you enough, or it might be keeping you stuck where you're not able to really uh, take care of yourself. You're not able to make moves for yourself. You're not able to uh, feel like, you know, abundant. You don't really feel abundant with whatever career you're working in, or you're feeling more bogged down, more dependent on them. Like, you know how they may just pay you enough to just pay your bills and then show back up here again tomorrow. So it could be something like that. You know, if it's a relationship, it could be still an independent, uh, it could be a, a codependent to a earth sign, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, or just a, a, a codependency to somebody who looks stable, but may not necessarily be stable or good for you. You know what I mean? So it's that type of energy. Like they look good to you or they look good for you, but they may not necessarily be stable enough for you. Or they're not really putting in the effort and, the, and the, uh, the time to show you that they're husband or wife material. They're not really giving you the effort that they need. This could be somebody who's striving for a higher perspective, a higher um, echelon in life or moving, like looking to move up social classes. Um, this could, could also be someone who's like a spiritual teacher or a spiritual guru, spiritual something like that. You could be coming into that. You could be becoming that. You know what I mean? You could be moving into that or... You could be leaving from that. You know what I mean? That that could also be an energy here as well. You could be leaving from that, moving away from that. Because um, with, with this King of Swords, I feel like you got clarity. And this King of Swords in this one, he looks like he's cutting something away. You know, and he could be cutting off the energy of being undecided or un, unable to make a decision or make a choice or juggle two things at once. So you might cut something off because you're unable to keep two things going at once. You know what I mean? Like, you know, two of Pentacles and then time to go. 
You know, because it's, it's like you're striving. You're gonna be looking forward to other other opportunities, other avenues, other chances. There's like another doorway that's gonna be opening for you. All right, because this is an opportunity for growth. This whole situation encompasses an opportunity for growth through difficulty, through stress, through push for, through did I say push pull? I was about to say push pull, but I'm thinking more like a more like a power struggle or like. You need to use your will. You need to use your inner power because you got you got sacral chakra. I'm not sacral chakra. You got solar plexus here, which is about uh, inner power, personal strength, courage, integrity. It's also about uh, authenticity and making the right choices for you. So that's what you're going to be experiencing in the next 90 days is like making the right choices for you. It says do good with intention, not for attention. So you may be negotiating shortly or doing some type of self-reflecting because it looks like that here. Maybe doing some type of self-reflecting, communicating with yourself or communicating with somebody else. All right. And this is, uh, that is your throat chakra. This is, yeah, it's the throat chakra here. So you're going to be communicating with somebody else or at least speaking out, letting people know how you feel. Hmm. This, but, you know, you're going to come in in nine days and there's going to be conflict. So maybe it's a lot of conflict and you may have to constantly tell people how you feel because what you're breaking is codependency and, and the need for other people to validate you all right so that's what's being broken here codependency and the need for other people to validate you so you're going to be coming into a new form of yourself um you could be having some type of achievement as well i think the achievement is going to be in speaking positively to yourself or communicating clearly to other people's your needs and desires or just communicating to people in an authentic way that's true to who you are i think that's what's going to be coming so questions that you can be asking yourself is what are you doing in your life that adds value to the life of others? Because you're going to probably be questioning yourself during this time. You're going to be wanting to do something that adds value to other people. That's why I say I feel like you're going to be leaving a job and possibly becoming a spiritual guru. Listen, I know it sounds stupid, right? Maybe it doesn't sound stupid because it don't sound stupid to me because here I am. But what I'm saying is this. A lot of people may be leaving their job because we're coming into a good period now where we're going into like, think of it like the Renaissance. Uh, I don't know if you remember that from from high school where they taught us about the Renaissance, where they, you know Michelangelo, Donatello, um, Picasso, like there were a lot of drawings, a lot of you know a lot of um, painters, a lot of artists. You know we're going into that type of time now where everybody's going to be connect, connecting on a more spiritual based, you know, uh, creative based. You know, it's not romanticized, but it's you know it could be romanticized too because I think that kind of encompassed both areas. A romanticism and the Renaissance. I think they were very closely. I think one followed the other, so they're very closely blended. Um, but it's going to be energy of us becoming more creative, becoming more uh, individualized, but yet recognizing how we all have the same tendencies. Um, that's probably like the time where we, you know what you're going to be noticing is like you coming into this energy of wanting to be more following more spiritual pursuits or wanting to be more spiritual, just finding higher levels of enlightenment or just seeing yourself from a higher perspective spiritually. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I feel like. I know you're going to be elevating and you're going to be moving on to something um, but because this is a big opportunity for growth. But I feel like you're not going to need other people to validate you anymore. I think that's what you're going to be getting over in the next 90 days is the need for other people to validate you because it says, are you holding yourself back from freely expressing yourself? And I think with uh, sitting and meditating or uh, altering your mental state, you're going to recognize that you've been doing a lot of things for the uh, validation of other people. You need other people to, you know, make you feel whole or make you feel like you're doing the right thing. And so with the King of Swords here, you're going to be cutting that off, cutting off this undecided or this, this imbalanced energy within yourself. That's what's going to be happening. And you're going to be taking a new opportunity, taking a new doorway. You know, so there's something here that's going to be happening for you and it's going to have to do with you seeing seeing further into the future or seeing like using more forethought and more anal analytical like tools, using your analytical tools. So thinking more, thinking clearly, thinking more maybe inspired, maybe you're going to have more inspired thought. Maybe that's what maybe inspiration comes in and that's what makes you take the take the leap. There's going to be a lot of stress and a lot of communicating that's going to need to be had, a lot of truth speaking that's going to need to be had, and this is going to allow you to basically move forward and see yourself in a new light, but to really uh, achieve something. I don't know what you're going to achieve here, but I guess you're going to really go after something and really achieve something. It could have been an obstacle or it could have been something that was very difficult for you. 
Um, but I feel like you might leave. It could be a relationship that you leave too. You know what I mean? Someone who you felt was stable, who could have been husband or wife material, but they're not doing that. They may be codependent or they may be, they may not be as grounded or stable as you thought they were. They may not pay attention to the details like you need them to. They may do little things that irritate or irk you and you may be cutting that off. All right, here's your advice. Self-criticism. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exist in all things. So let's go over the signs one more time. We have Capricorn, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Libra, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. So, Pow 2, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Nuni, and this Leo in the third house. Oh. Hold on. I'm be right back. Okay, I'm back. So anyway, boom, pile three. So pile three, what can you expect in the next 90 days? So you could be a Scorpio, you could be an Aries, you could be a Capricorn, you could be a Leo, you could be an Aquarius, you could be a Pisces. Oh, okay. So you're gonna be freeing yourself though and going to a land of milk and honey or going into a better space. Uh, some gifts that are meant for you, some abundance that's meant for you. You're going to be freeing yourself, all right? You might be keeping yourself in a box, but um, I feel like there's going to be a reality check that's going to activate you, okay? So you're going to be stepping into your power, and you're going to be coming into a sudden realization that you've been keeping yourself blocked or keeping yourself closed off, keeping yourself in a prison, because the card is prisoner. So you're going to recognize that you've been keeping yourself in a prisoner and that you've been keeping yourself from your own happiness, your own contentment. Um, maybe not even following your passions because I just read passion. Maybe even sexuality. So maybe you haven't been fully expressing your sexuality. You know, But whatever this is, there's, whenever you free yourself from this prison, there's going to be a lot of abundance, happiness, peace, joy. Um, could be excitement too because I'm seeing Mars energy and, and uh, the sun energy, solar flares. So whatever is here. So this, this uh, reality check is going to probably be a big reality check. It's going to probably be something that really activates you or really makes you um, get outside of your outside of because the prisoner represents how people see you and keeping yourself boxed in to fit their picture or fit someone else's box. So you're going to be freeing yourself of that. All right, so something is going to happen here that's going to make you have to step into your power. Uh, it could be some type of aggression, but what I get is you're going to be having more confidence, more masculine drive. Even if you're a female, you're going to have more confidence, more masculine drive, more independence, more of a go-getter attitude. You're going to be more ambitious, more driven. All right, you're going to go after your desires. You're going to be more confident as well because we got so, uh, solar plexus here. Um, you might be listening to music at very high volumes or very intense music, you know, so it could be like rock and roll, it could be like loud rap, could be like jazz to a high note, you know what I mean, like you're going to have music probably up very loud and it's going to be helping you heal. Um, I feel like you're going to be integrating, oh, okay, so you're going to be integrating your power. You're, you're going to be stepping into your masculine power, so you're going to be integrating that into your feminine energy as well. <laughs> All right, you're going to be finding a way to utilize this. Um, this is your third eye chakra, too. So you're going to be seeing yourself in a different light. All right, you're going to see yourself for who you truly are. And this is the reality check that's coming. All right. Um, you're going to probably have less uh, inhibitions. All right, you might not be holding yourself back as much. That's what I feel. I feel like you may not hold yourself back at all. I think you may become aware that how you've been boxing yourself in or been like, maybe fitting into other people's box of what they expect you to do or be and then you're going to recognize that that you can free yourself of this you're going to see there's two doorways or two pathways two options of where you can go and you're going to take them one of them for sure it says are you realizing you have an emotional dependency on someone because of your past traumas so you're going to recognize that that's why i said you're going to be coming into the energy of freeing yourself from a certain box that you had yourself placed in. You might feel like you're trapped now or like you're lost, not quite sure 
um, where you're going or how to go or where to go or you know what I mean but you're just going to become confident and um, headstrong or confident and uh, self-assured about what you want to do for you you know you're just going to know that you want to get out of this box because <coughs> currently what's probably going on is um, in this in this 90 day period you're going to also be feeling like um, you don't really have any choices you're not going to be feeling super ambitious so you're going to fluctuate before so what's coming is you actually deciding to make a move but during that period in time you're going to feel like you shouldn't like there aren't any options that you're not as driven to free yourself or is driven to uh, make a choice or to activate this ability that you have within you. So you may be holding yourself back. You may be trying to work with other people or you may be feeling like working with other people is, is cutting down your drive and your ambition. It's, it's, it's uh, limiting your free of choice. This could be with, um, this could be with the community or it could be with three people. Cause I got three here twice. So it could be the community or it could be with three people. Um, but there is it's, it's going to be feeling an energy where you're not really feeling super playful or feeling like you can enjoy yourself. You're not going to be feeling like um, it's more like it's going to feel like a cycle or, or a pattern or like a I thought like a whirlwind where you're going to be feeling like you're sucked under or feeling like you're being dragged under. Um, this could be like with a friend group or a community. Um, but it's going to be feeling like you don't have any options or like you don't have any opportunities or as many opportunities. But this is going to activate you to free yourself from this box or this prison. It's a mental prison. Free yourself from this box or this prison that you've envisioned yourself being in. All right. So something is going to click. All right. You're going to recognize that you're probably uh, dealing with emotional dependency because of something that's happened in the past. All right. And you're going to be integrating that past and this present. And it's going to give you a sense of power. And this is where you're meant to be because we have destiny here. All right. So you're going to come into this energy of wanting to do what you love and becoming whole. So you're going to be healing this energy of needing other people or trying to fit into this box of what other people want you to be or expect you to be or need you to be. Instead, you're going to be freeing yourself and finding your own happiness, your own peace and sanctuary. It says allow the parts of yourself to you hide to make your, themselves known. So let me read that again. It says allow the parts of yourself you hide to make themselves known. In the light, you will see the wisdom they hold. So it says, sometimes music is the only medicine the heart and soul need. So like I said, you're gonna probably be playing music very loud. I feel like this is gonna give you a sense of determination and you're gonna go after the things that you really desire. It says, I do what I love. That's what the energy you're gonna be coming into. And it says, there's a path waiting just for you. Open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. So yeah, you're going to be freeing yourself, getting free. And you know, look, this lady is naked. I can't show you for too long. She's naked. All right. So, uh, you know, whenever I see people being naked, I see them as exposing their vulnerabilities, you know, um, getting, becoming true to who they are. And with sacred, and with uh, solar plexus here, this is about authenticity, making uh, an authentic choice for yourself, putting you first, choosing you first. And with stepping your power over above, above it, I think that's what you're going to be doing is choosing you, putting you first, your desires, your wants. You know your needs you're gonna be putting them first going after those things with determination and with aggressiveness all right so even if you're a woman which you more than likely are you're gonna be going with after things with aggression with passion strong desire all right nothing will deter you nothing will get in your way and you're gonna recognize how you've been keeping yourself from this type of energy you're gonna see how either collaborating with other people or working with other well what's gonna to increase too first that's going to get you out your box is your productivity and the way that you work with other people. So you're going to become more aware of how you work with other people. You're not going to let the way that you work with them or the way that they expect you to work with them keep you boxed in or I want to say dimmed, dimmed down, dumbed down. Like you're not going to allow them to dumb you down or dim you down because the energy of you not feeling like you're going to be able to play or like, like you're like you're going in the same circle and maybe they're playing. Or like you're going in the same cycle and maybe you're playing and maybe you're not really you know catching catching the drift here that's what it's about a real a reality check is going to click in and you're going to recognize that you've just been going in a circle and a pattern and you haven't freed yourself when you could have all right because it's going to make you feel like you don't have any other options or no other choices like you have to do this like i have to work with these people i have to work with this 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 uh this 
community or these friends. I have to be friends with them. I have to, you know, show them who I am. So you're going to be in that energy of wanting to show people your value, show them how important you are, or show them what you can offer, but it's going to keep repeating in the same, you know, pattern, the same cycle where it's not really going where, and you're not really able to enjoy this level of bliss. It's going to be keeping you from the milk and honey. And that's what you're going to be aware of. That's what's going to bring this to your frontal lobe. It's like, hey, I'm doing all this. I'm showing you my best talents and gifts, but I'm not getting anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. And we're staying in the same cycle or I'm staying in the same pattern. You know, let me let me get myself out of this. Let me take my power back. That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be finding strength within yourself to decide to take your power back. All right. Um, this could be after like a long period of time. You know, this could be something that you persevered or you like you you were very resilient. You were very loyal, dedicated, very um motivated you know what i mean and you were doing what's considered the right thing because i think a capricorn is a person who's doing the right thing so you could have been doing like what you consider the right thing and with the three of pentacles here is upright it's about you doing your best showing your best talents your best gifts you know collaborating working with other people showing them that you have value you know showing them the value that you offer and they may not be accepting it or even acknowledging it and that's what's going to make you that's probably going to be a reality check that's probably going to be the reality check for you and that's going to what's going to allow you to free yourself and get out of this box that they've been having you in or free yourself out of this mental prison that you've been having yourself in. All right. Um, I think that's just it. Let me read you your uh, advice. Miracle. Dearest one, even if all seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust and the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together, we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. So let's go over signs one more time. We have Scorpio, Aries, Aries, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, and that's it, all right? So, pile three, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nuni, and this Leo in the third house. <laughs> Boom, pile four. So, pile four, what can you expect in the next 90 days? Okay, harmony, luck, beneficial, money, creativity, adaptability with your creative talents and gifts. Okay, more passion. Okay, you could be finishing something that you started. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So good things are coming in and it's going to feel very synced up. All right, it's going to feel very uh, meant for you. It's going to feel like you are in the right place at the right time. Um, you could be leaving a relationship, could be separating from a relationship or just, you know, finding your individuality. Um, I feel like you may be leaving a relationship and then going out and enjoying yourself, looking for other opportunities, looking for other options, um, just kind of like open to what life has to offer to you. Um, you could, mm, I don't feel like you're moving. I feel like you're deciding whether to, to move in another direction. This could be, for real, for real, it could be like a third person party that you might move into or you might, or it could be like a new friend group that you, that you get into. You know, that could be that. But I feel like you might be also going out to enjoy yourself, you know, having some type of celebration. It could be like birthday parties, uh, you know, or you're going to events where you're showing off your arts, your crafts, your wares, um, showing off your abilities. Um, but I feel like you're more so going out to enjoy yourself, to have fun. Um, this could be after a breakup or a separation from somebody. So let's go over your signs. So you could be a Pisces, could be a Leo, you could be a Gemini, and that's what I got. All right. Or you could be dealing with these signs. All right. So I got four signs, Pisces, Aries, Gemini, Leo. All right. But I get there's going to be some opportunities coming in, a bunch of luck, beneficial people, could be money. Um, all this stuff is synced up for you, though, because synchronicity is here and trine is here. And trine and synchronicity and serendipity, they represent the same things, like being aware that spirit is placing these blessings on your path. You know, it's going to be a lot of good vibes. So this one is, you're going to be very easy. It's going to be a lot of passion going on, a lot of good times, 
Um, you're gonna be able to cool your emotions. So this is Aries energy. So you're gonna be able to relax and not have to feel so defensive or feel like you need to be dominant and aggressive. You know, instead you're gonna be maybe more romantic you know, maybe, uh, maybe more empathic, more empathic, excuse me, more empathic or more artistic. I feel like that's what, that's what's going to be coming up. Your ability to adapt to new ideas and new changes. If this is going to help you encourage your, your uh, passion, this is also going to help you uh, finish a project you might have started on. So something that you might not finished, you know what I mean? It could be like unfinished business with somebody else. It could also be unfinished business with somebody else. You know, there may be a new passion for that. And this could be after you broke up with somebody and you took some time out to enjoy yourself and you were kind of like waiting for new options or new opportunities to come in. Because um, you're going to be feeling like at the door that time, you're going to feel like your life is a mess, but everything is going to be falling into place for you just like it's supposed to. All right. So you could be maybe even having different fantasies or escaping. So you could be like doing drugs, smoking, you know, drinking. Because um, I see the three cups here. So that's usually about a good time. So you could be smoking, drinking, going out. You know, and this could be after like a breakup or after a separation. Um, this could also be after like a bad business deal or some type of uh, collaboration that didn't go well that you thought, like, you know, a meeting with someone who didn't go the way that you expected it to go. It says, who in your life brings negative energy that you need to remove some? And it says, is your home a place you feel safe and secure? So you might be moving homes. You might be separating or leaving from somebody or moving out or... Something like that. And it's during this period in time, you're gonna be feeling like your life is a mess, but not to worry because everything is gonna be falling into place at that one time. Like, so it's falling apart so that it can fall together for you just like you need it to. It's gonna be a lot of synchronicities. You might be overindulging a lot too. So that might cause a lot of stress on you emotionally. And that's why it says cool your emotions. So you're gonna be needing to find some time to like cool your emotions. You might be indulging in, uh, you might be diving or indulging in addictions of some sort could be you know drugs sex alcohol money clothes whatever food you know what i mean so you could be you know getting into that overeating or whatever whatever maybe you know you could be overindulging and feeling a bit complacent because you know this this situation could rock your foundation a little bit but it's not like it's not like a tower move it's not really a bad situation it's feel like more something that you initiated that you made a decision on and now it just feels like things aren't aren't how you wanted them to be or how you expected them to be that's what's going to play out in the next 90 days, most likely. Um, it says you are about to uh, you are about to get sweet rewards for your hard work. And it says some secrets are like stones, too heavy to carry. And that's why I feel like with this Pisces energy, you know, what I mean, where you may be trying to escape some of your secrets, some of the things that you've held deep down, you know, and that, that might be weighing in on your emotions because that that uh, with this Aries energy of needing to cool your emotions is that energy of wanting to really blow up and explode because it could be something that frustrates you a lot. But you may have to like relax, chill, you know, what I mean, be more empathetic to whoever this is that's involved in this situation or maybe be more empathetic to yourself. <clears throat> um, but you're going to be coming in with new creative ideas, new cutting edge ideas, thought processes, ways that you've never thought before. And they're going to bring you a, a new level of passion. And this is what's going to make you want to go back and, unf and finish some type of project. Could be work, could be a creative project, could be a, even a relationship. Because it's going to be in a t period in time where you're like, you left a relationship. So maybe you want to go back and fix a relationship, you know, but whatever it is, however, you'll know if it's a relationship because all of it will be synced up just right for you. Like it'll be falling right into place for you. So you don't have to worry too much about it. We got trying energy here. Trying energy is a positive aspect. It's a major aspect. So this is going to be a major life change. All right. Um, this, is going to, this is going to be something that's going to make you maybe more intuitive or more psychic. It could have to do with psychic abilities or mystical abilities or mystic mysticism. You might become aware of that or that might be something that, that gets pushed on you because trying is an energy that pushes, it accelerates. A lot of times when you're not ready for change, a trying comes in and pushes you anyway. It's an accelerator, like, ugh, get out there and get going. You know what I mean? It's like a spank on the butt for a horse. Wah! And the horse, ee! and they take off. That's what you might do. <laughs> That's what you might do because I got passion twice. So you're going to be like off to the races on some sort, but your emotions are going to be even tempered. You're not going to be as fiery as ferocious. You're going to be more calm, more relaxed, more subdued, but not really like being able to be contained by other people because things are working in your favor. A lot of beneficial people may show up. You know what I mean? A lot of beneficial. And I feel like it because of the three of cups or maybe a lot of beneficial people, people who can help you lighten your load or lighten the mood. Um, 
because with cool your emotions it means that you're probably very hot-headed right now or very frustrated you may be very frustrated feeling like your life is a mess and they're going to bring in this energy of peace people are going to show up for you people are going to show up for you that's always good people are going to show up for you all right you could be dealing with looking into your psyche or looking into like your hidden aspects you know when finding that you've been holding yourself back or finding people who have been holding you back you know what i mean and that might be become clear that might be why you're separating because you'll be in the energy of wanting to separate or get away from someone or leave someone it's not really leave them in the cold you just maybe wanting to separate or you could be not necessarily being as intimate with people you might be hiding your um, intimacy but i remember look, the lover sometimes in reverse could be about um infidelity so you could be like indulging in like a third third person party you could be being in, in uh infidel or uh uh being what is, is infidel i mean infidel is a word but that's not what i mean you could be being um adulterous is that the word i don't know if that's the word when you're like in a relationship and then you go cheat or you go uh, get into a third person party. I don't know if that's called uh, adultery. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> it's a lot of things that's going to be happening for you in those 90 days. You're going to be working on a project that you hadn't finished or getting back to work on something that you stopped. You're going to be coming in with new ideas. Um, you're going to become very creative. You're going to be having a nightlife. You're going to be having an exciting life. You're going to be possibly dating. You're going to possibly be just be finding more passion to your life. And it could just become from a creative venture or a creative talent that you have you may hone in on that um but you probably could be leaving i feel like you may be moving leaving house sweeping house or clearing things out from your house cleaning your house um just bringing in new stuff you know what i mean um you could even like i want i feel like you could like remodel your house in a different way you know what i mean there could be something like that or like just move your furniture around move your beds around or something like that um you're going to be coming into this energy where you're going to recognize that your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So you're going to become more compassionate. See, that's what the heart chakra is about, being more compassionate to yourself and others. Um, this is also the uh, processing resentment, grief, shame, guilt, jealousy. Um, you know what I mean? That feeling of not feeling good enough. You're going to be healing that. All right. Um, you're going to become more reassuring or other people may come in and reassure you. And this will calm, calm your emotions, calm your temper. Um, you could be removing somebody, though. That's for sure. With this lovers in reverse and with this broom, you could be removing somebody, getting rid of somebody, leaving somebody, um, breaking up with somebody. Most likely it's a breakup. And if it's a breakup, it could be a bad breakup. It could be a breakup that you won't forget because the, the lovers and the lovers is a major arcana and for me major arcanas are periods in time that you won't forget you can always look back on them like a chapter in a book you can remember oh i remember this one time when i went to school you never forget school school is a is a pivotal moment you know you never forget your marriage you never forget your first relationship you never forget uh your first job you know what i mean like those are experiences that that are like chapters in your life that you can always look back on and use them as like uh a landmark in your life Right on the journey of your life, you can use them as a landmark. Um, but for sure, you're going to be getting back into some type of creative passion that you like. Could be making music, could be art. You're going to be becoming more artsy. All right, you're going to be really focused on art and creative abilities and creative talents and maybe business and you know. But and also, but enjoying yourself as well. Like you're going to be really focused on like enjoying yourself. Passion. The fifth house is about like a nightlife it's about you know the the busy times square type of energy like you know like you're gonna be getting busy you're gonna be you know and, and being able to uh accept new energy and new information to be able to create a new outcome for yourself you know what i mean or this could be what you use to create passion or art or, or designs or whatever you know that's what's going to be happening here <clears throat> um this could come from like your dreams or your fantasies something that you dreamed or fantasized about this could be that coming into fruition for you um it has to do with passion and i think of it like it could be like because fifth house could be like sex it could be like dating you know it could be like children it could be like children's childish glee you're gonna be doing that you know what i mean you're gonna be taking taking control of your emotions and your feelings all right but you're definitely gonna become more driven and facing your desires or maybe facing your problems facing your desires going after your desires you know what i mean you may be uh trusting in how you feel or trusting in like the passion that you have to lead you to drive you forward 
and like I said, you may be leaving your house because it may not be feeling secure to you anymore or where you are may not be feeling comfortable to you anymore. It may be feeling too small or too snug or um, too snug. Yeah, that's too small. You know, or it might be feeling too cluttered or too maybe dirty. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Maybe just clutter. I think of like clutter. Too much. Too much of this. Too much of that. You know, you might start downsizing. Getting rid of things you no longer need. You know, things like that could be happening. And you're just going to have this zest and this this passion for life. So you're going to be coming into an energy of being very excited about life. Excited about what life has to offer. But you may also be very indulgent. Overindulgent. Doing a lot of drugs. Drinking. Um, just having fun. You could be having casual sex. Um, you could be, you know, into a third person party, you know, and, you know maybe this thing for everybody, but for some, you know what I mean? We're not out here joining, we're not out here judging or telling people what they should or shouldn't do. I'm just a reader. That's it. Um, the number 22 and 13 is showing up and 43 and 10. So those numbers are showing up. So I don't know what those mean. Um, there's going to be some type of transformation though. Something is going to move, but maybe something doesn't move at the same time. So maybe it's you moving, but certain situations aren't moving along with you. So you may, you know, have to go out on your own or strike out on your own. I feel like you're just going to be coming into like a new friend group, though. Friends who feel like who feel like real good friends, who are really like close camaraderie, who you can really trust, who you can emotionally allow yourself to be seen by. You know, I feel like that's going to be happening. Um What else? I know it's going to be peace for you. It's going to be a level of peace of like, you know, coming into your wholeness or coming into oneness with yourself. But it's going to be like an easygoing flow. Like, you know, because that's what the trine represents anyway. So this whole thing is about like just having a ball, having fun. You know, things are going your way. Things are falling into place. You know, it's all lining up how it's supposed to. Some things are going bad, but really spirit is just carrying you to where you need to be. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go bad. It's not gonna go bad. Just have trust. All right. This isn't gonna. It's gonna be very, very good for you. You're just gonna be feeling like a new person. Very um, energetic. Very, you know, passionate. Very excited about what life has to offer. And you might overdo it in some in some instances. That's why I say well, you could be in a third person party. That might just be you overdoing it in some sense. In some instances. You know what I mean? You know who am I to judge? All right. Um, here's your advice, though. Prayer. Dear God, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. So let's go over the signs one more time. You could be a Gemini, you could be a Pisces, you could be an Aries, you could be a Leo. All right. Or you could be dealing with these people if it's not you. Okay. So, um, Pile 4, 4. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Nooney. And it's Leo in the third house. Thank you all for always being here. For, like, you know, supporting me. For donating. For just riding with me on this journey. I hope I'll be inspiring other people to put themselves out there. Take a risk on you. If you ain't going to take a risk on nothing else, take a risk on you. All right. Bet the house on you. <laughs> all right. I always wanted to tell you all that because I remember back when I was at like 500 subscribers, I was so excited. I was giving out all this information and I still feel the same way. I love to see people put themselves out there in a way that they've never seen themselves before. If you have a passion, if you have a desire to do something, if you have a creative talent, a skill, and you're not quite sure if you're good enough, let us be the judge of it. Put yourself out there. There will be plenty of people who will love what you offer. Plenty of people who will love who you are just because you are who you are. And it's always worth it to just try, to just put it out there. You know what I mean? That's it. It's always worth it. You know what I mean? So I just want to say that to you. I don't know who needs to hear that, but I just would like to see more people feel confident and inspired enough in themselves to take a risk. Try something that you've never tried before because you might just do very well. All right. So I'm out, y'all. Thank you again.